Hello folks, this is your boy Flip and today we'll be looking at one of the best tools out there for on-chain analytics. It's Arkham Intelligence. So uh, this is like a tool which you can get the pulse of the market. You can see what the whales are buying, what retail investors are buying, what institutional investors are buying, what the shrimps are buying. So uh, like yeah, it gives you a very nice feeling of the market if you know what you're doing. And uh, we'll drive into some of those tools. There are plenty of other tools which do similar things like Etherscan and such, but none of them is as comprehensive as Arkham Intelligence. And they're on a mission to de-anonymize the blockchain, which ideologically is conflicting because on the blockchain, you know, one of the plus points is the privacy, a privacy aspect, which is like, yeah, which is a little bit compromised, but we probably get lesser scams you know more institutional adoption mainstream adoption and we get like yeah n like you know not a lot of money laundering like maybe we stop money laundering all these ideological things you know but that we will have to find out if we eventually do that but anyway let's dive into the let's dive into the interface here so here you see the network status of the top chains you have polygon you saw arbitrum optimism just uh, a few moments ago and like what the volume is on that chain, what is the market cap, the amount of transfers, like activity going on on the chain. And underneath you have top entities. Now entity is just a wallet address, which is tagged to a name. So we are just like tagging the name, right? Uh, so this is the de-anonymizing the blockchain part. So like, as you see Sandbox, it has its portfolio allocation shown underneath. And it also has like, you know, it is its wallet is tagged to that name golem for example is another one you have coinbase and we can go dive into coinbase see what kind of what their top allocation is what the price of that is how how much you know underwater their position is so let's look at one that i picked out specifically for you um maverick maverick protocol right okay so this you can see is an arkham entity as you can verify from uh, this little icon here which means that yeah it's an arkham ent entity kind of like a verified sign and this is a collection of wallets of the maverick protocol so an aggregation and uh, here we have their top allegation one is in the map protocol and they have a bunch of like yeah collateral probably for their token and then they have like stable coins we're looking for some alts trying to figure out you know maybe we can find something that they're doing and we can also see how their balances have changed over time a really cool feature is you can see okay you know between this period they had plenty of activity so what happened there so I'm able to zoom in to this specific part and I can see you know what the transactions were in that right what was the transaction that led to this huge increase so I can sort by value by clicking on it or I can sort by USD value and usually that makes more sense because some of the valuation on these tokens as you know is absolutely bonkers uh, so yeah some of the prices I'm sorry so here you have okay Maverick protocol three weeks ago what was all, that was like the 27th so probably yeah probably three weeks ago from now like you had yeah to this wallet we can keep tracking these wallets we can go down the the rabbit hole and see what's going on right inflows and outflows we can also go in and check what is the inflow what is the outflow right okay that's all good and now there's a bunch of other metrics here like okay what is there where do they withdraw most of their money where are they using which exchange are they using mostly for their you know for their deposits like for their coins that they're holding uh, and yeah now let's look at something that we can spot like a a low like you know like an upcoming alt so I see ID is in the mix there now let's have a broader look so first up we see okay let's look at the token price is 265 it has had a massive decline in around about the time where you could think of maybe laddering in if we find that the project is worth it but we'll dig into that later 
so we will see some transactions coming in we also see the top holders and from what I can tell the top three wallets own like probably about uh, roughly 65 to 70 percent of the of the total supply which is may which is not a great sign so we have to investigate what these wallets are maybe they are the to like you know the the founders wallets or developer wallets or burnt wallets let's have a look at that later so these are the three entities but if we were to uh, go into this token we want to see some kind of activity happening from the institutional side right so we want to filter for transactions with let's say 10,000 10,000 upwards right so I see that yeah there is a deposit from Binance to BitKit BitKit deposit to BitKit okay and then a bunch of other like these are their own transfers I'm looking for some some real like some retail buys or some like you know some of the other investors which are not like exchanges so going further I see most of these are yeah most of these are big entities like exchanges market makers okay let me reset that let me go for token greater than 10,000 maybe that will give me a a better read let's say 10,000 tokens right and I will immediately skip the first couple of pages because yeah you probably see a lot of these guys okay so now I want to look at some new wall like you know okay there is INS let's click this so I'm looking for what is the activity on it like as are a lot of people buying it is there any interest in it what was like some of the bigger transactions in the past year or two whatever the history of this coin is so here I've taken the wallet I'm plugged in a visualizer and this is what it is right like we are it's our central person wallet that we are trying to make some sense out of uh, let's see what where the outflow has gone into quite a heavy wallet to say the least let's go back because they don't have a lot of things there they're not a lot of holdings uh, let's look at another one possibly the same wallet no, but there's like a lot of dough in this wallet as well so yeah that's a huge equity curve massive profit huge whale so yeah okay let's continue I mean from what I can see is like they have transferred to a lot of different entities and what I want to see is where they got the money from <coughs> 80 bucks worth of INS So I'm trying to like track that wallet as well. And that is the mother of all wallets. Come on, like this is a huge nexus of, and my word, like it's painful to watch that uh, equity curve there. I mean, 30K and then down to like what is it like looking like hundred dollars I mean maybe there was some profit taking here on the down but come on man 30k and then absolutely wrecked man this could be me really yeah that could be me like swell early part 2022 and then absolutely wrecked well I hope they took some profit but yeah okay so this wallet you can see the red lines are basically centralized exchanges so yeah I mean a lot of transactions going on here I mean it's very hard to make sense of it so I probably will not go too deep into this one Oh, 
just for the sake of some research. We're back to square one. I mean, that is like... We went too deep. We went too deep in the rabbit hole. Let's look at uh, yeah, the, the outflows that this guy has done. 1.4 million. I mean, he bought 16... He bought like $16 worth of uh, mattage. Whatever, $16 transferred that 10 mattage to Matic well nothing nothing to see here maybe see this is like how it is you have to keep investigating different things oh my god just look at some of these transactions like Major, major though. 1.41. This guy's made an absolute killing. Whoever this guy is, he's won. He's won the lottery. Five eighty one K. I mean you can also see the information on the left hand side, like what these you know, like that it's a centralized exchange, this transfer token value from where it went where and we can like take a deeper look into one of these <coughs> sorry about that I'm just trying to make sense of what happened I mean 50x easy in the past couple of months, he's done a 50x, 640%, okay. I mean, he definitely knew that he had to buy, like, this is like, moments before the run-up. Last but not the least, I will just we saw the visualizer we have got a feel for what these things do we know what these things are like you know token allocation etc now we just have a couple of things left which is like an alert you can set up an alert maybe you want to give it a description why well, no id big buy something like that you want to have maybe you want to see certain addresses that we were tracking as you saw maybe we want to add those addresses if not maybe we want to see the addresses that are receiving from certain entities maybe our main central wallet that we were talking about just moments earlier or maybe we want to talk about sending to so one of the wallets that we spoke with that was getting sent to like we had like you know the, to some centralized exchanges in the space id example and maybe what's the value like as you know i like to have at least ten thousand or something higher than that uh usd value and we can look for a token either we don't have to select all of these we can select some of these and then like you know that should be and then the alert method like you can go telegram you can go uh email so that's it and finally we can also set up our own dashboard like for example I have something called ID tracker because I'm tracking this all coin ID and I have a bunch of things going on here that I can see see I can just click on a, on the plus icon add something that I like as opposed to a text box or a tracked entity or a portfolio you have a bunch of widgets going on here so I will write, let's say, a pie chart. Now, data type can be ETH, right? But then I can have BDC. Then I can also add. Actually, I think ETH is good enough. Pick a stat. I'll pick the top holders of ethereum 
anything you like and you can check check the layout and you can play around with these uh, yeah you can play around with these you can move them around as you see I have a bunch of widgets added here you could just go add a new dashboard add your things and yeah that's about it for this tutorial if you liked it please like share and subscribe have a, have a good one